Okay, this is a picture of my shop. Walking over to the bench where I have a Turbo Hydromatic 350 transmission. Just got brought in by a customer. This transmission, I rebuilt it back in 1995. It's been in the vehicle all this time. Gentleman told me he does not have any problems with it. He just wants to get it freshened up because he's putting a new engine in his truck. So we're going to get ready to open up. First, uh, let me clean off the area where I marked it with my signature and my date of build. Let's see if it's still there. I do see my TC there. There, TC. September something of 95. A little hard to make out. I'm going to wipe it off. It's probably going to disappear when I wipe it off. Oh, there we go. 95. Okay, now we're getting ready to take the pump out of this transmission and look at the internal parts. Piston, aluminum, the seals, the return springs. These little lip seals here. They're still rubbery. That's a good sign. I think this transmission's been on the road since 99, September of 95. That's, what is that? 17 years? Not too bad. Pump stator, shaping for wear. Looks beautiful. These are the pump gears. Still look nice. Very little play. Pump body with the gears. Sucks, pumps. Now we'll get this valve body out of the way. Separator plate. 
shift plate. This does have a shift kit in it. The shift kit separator plate. And then here we have check balls because it has a shift kit. One, two, three are out because of the shift kit. We have one little check ball here. And then also the modulator valve, which controls the shift timing and firmness, or helps control the shift timing. This is a servo, which applies the band, which is a braking band for when it's downshifting. We'll go ahead and take the rest of the guts out. With some of the guts. This is second gear. Clutches and steels. You're looking at them, they look brand new still. That's the day I put them in. No burning anywhere. These happen to be more Warners as second gear. That braking band, perfect condition. This is the high and reverse clutch drum, also known as direct. When you mean direct, that means it's the ratio from in to out of the transmission is one to one when it's in third gear. Check in here for the wear from the ceiling rings. Everything looks good there. We'll go ahead and remove the snap ring. Clutch, three wheels, locks up. 